Hi, this is lesson two. We're going to continue on with our work with research articles in Sente. We now have an article inside of our Sente library, but we're going to go ahead and find it. We're going to make it more workable by opening it up in its own tab. And then we're going to show you how to quote it and make some annotations on the references. So here we have our Sente library and the last addition to our research library is the article that we pulled in from EBSCO in Lesson 1. I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. and You can see it opens up a new tab. This time the rest of the library is hidden and all we're dealing with is this pane which contains the actual article and then the pane on the right which alternately shows the references that build up this particular research article and then the notes which we're going to fill up with our quotes and any comments we have on it. So as you go along and read you'll come across pieces that you want to use in your paper and as I'm scrolling through here I see this one quote that I want to add and after I highlight it with the mouse the annotation window shows up and there's a number of things I can do. If I want to put the text into the clipboard I'll hit copy. I can make a comment which is just notes that I can see but they will show up and are attached to the PDF. I can highlight it a different color or what we're going to do is quote and when we do that it also highlights the color to yellow by default but it also creates a, a note which we can use in our papers. And this is the text of the the reference that we just placed in. This top piece here in bold many teachers mistakenly believe that repeating lessons will dot dot dot. That's just there. It's not um, it's just the first couple words of the quote and it is there so you can look at them when you have a number of quotes in the same paper you'll be able to tell which one it was and then there's a number 38 that comes from the page number and that'll be important especially if we're quoting a particular page in using APA 6 style. In lesson 3 we're going to show you how to take the references that we just made and place them inside of a paper you're working on. I'll see you then.